Hey train fans, it's Roy here doing a bit of a new arrival slash mail call. Uh, this is a bunch of stuff I've gotten over the last several months, uh, most of which from different uh, YouTube channels. Um, so anyway, let's get started. And first up, this is all the way back from, uh, I think it was January, when uh, Heath went to Northlands. And uh, he was gracious enough to uh, get a bunch of people uh, cabooses and boxcars. And I got a, a caboose. It's HO scale, and I won't be able to run it. But uh, I just wanted to have a souvenir from Northlands, and, and he sent me one. And along with that, I also got... Uh, a couple of stickers from Northlands and a postcard from Northlands. Uh, it was very cool. And I also got uh, one of his pins, if it'll focus. And then, uh, you know, uh, he, he bought these for everyone. I, I paid for it, obviously, but it was very nice of him to... Uh, buy these and ship them out and include stickers and one of his pins with it. Uh, and then uh, a little while later, also from Heath, uh, he's been making these uh, billboards to go on flat cars, similar to the uh, circus car billboard ones he has. Um, and uh, I hadn't been lucky enough to win one for many of his giveaways, but I asked him if he would send me one and he did. He sent me, you know, just the banner part, so I have to put it on my own flat car. But uh, that was also very nice of him. And this one he just sent to me, said I had uh, been generous enough with his channel that he would just give me one, which was very nice of him. And uh, got another pin with that too. So I have two Humanity Junction pins uh, to go along with the banner and the Northland stuff. Uh, next up after that, uh, Vinny, uh, was, uh, selling the, his Elgato gaming HD capture device, and I've been wanting to get one of these, uh, so I can, uh, stream with my Canon camera using it, and so I got that, but I also got the prized Vinny, uh, postcard with the thank you on the back and his business card. So it's always uh, nice to get those. And then uh, a little while after that, uh, I had uh, been communicating with uh, Jason, the train freak, uh, helping him with uh, Train Freak Jr.'s end scale layout. And uh, we worked out, he had some uh, leftover end scale cars from a deal that he had done where he was uh, trying to get the caboose for Roy Smith in Panama. And uh, these were cars that Train Freak Jr. didn't want. And uh, we worked out a trade for these for some of my cars. And then I also gave him a bunch of extra stuff. But these are the cars that I got from him. So first of all, we got a, a Cole Hopper CSX. And then a CSX box car. Hopefully those are getting focused on and trying to stop at the same place or near. Um, and then another modern, this one's ATW, I'm not sure which uh, company that is. Uh, Atlantic and Western, okay. That's what it says on there. It's another modern looking box car. And then uh, Spokane and Portland and Seattle uh, flat car, which handily enough I can put Heath's uh, banner on. So I will uh, show that a little later. Um, but those are the four cars I traded with them and I kind of wanted to get some uh, modern cars because a lot of my cars that I had previously are uh, older era than what I'm planning on running. And I see CSX and other Eastern uh, rolling stock freight cars on the uh, rail fan videos for Oxnard and Southern California all the time. Um, then the other thing I got uh, from the Train Freak was because uh, I've been a patron with him for a while uh, on Patreon, I got one of his uh, fancy signature mugs. 
So uh, thank you for that, Jason. It's uh, you know, the Train Freak mug. And then uh, thanks for supporting me on Patreon with his signature. It's very cool. Um, so thank you for that, Jason. Very nice. And then uh, the last thing I got from another YouTuber is uh, Tom Placer, uh, who does a lot of uh, switching and operating operations videos in uh, N-Scale in his uh, Chocafe and uh, Oak Hill uh, switching layouts. And he also has G-Scale uh, Garden Railroad out in his yard that's really very nice too. Um, but he was uh, getting rid of some stuff that is too modern or not appropriate for his layout. Um, the first of which was a uh, scale trains uh, operator locomotive. It's a North Fork Sutherland, which I don't have, so it was nice and he gave me a pretty good deal on it. It's got DCC and it's uh, very lightly weathered. You probably can't see it too well on the camera, but uh, it looks nice and uh, like I said, uh, I didn't have a North Fork in Sutherland, uh, a Southern locomotive and uh, I like to have some of each. I've got a CSX one and I've got a bunch of others. Um, and then additionally he had some modern uh, boxcars which aren't appropriate for his era. Uh, so I got those and uh, first of all there's this uh, southern one with some graffiti. The other side is uh, just normal, no graffiti, but it is uh, lightly weathered by Tom. Um, and then also this uh, NW boxcar which is again very lightly weathered uh, but modern boxcar very nice cars that he gave me a really good deal on. Um, so those were the things from other YouTubers. I'll have links to all their channels down below uh, for you to check out. Uh, and then a couple of new things I got for myself. Uh, first of all uh, the, I'm in the N-Scale Enthusiast which is uh, associated with microtrains uh, but uh, they uh, do a yearly member car and uh, this year's is uh, uh, first responders honoring first responders the law enforcement car so that one's pretty cool with the blue shield and uh, a nice coloring there and it's a modern box car so uh, it's legal to run and then the, one, the other car I got for fun from them, uh, this is one you can buy from N-Scale Enthusiasts directly. Uh, it's the uh, Golden Spike car. So it's a UP gondola with a big giant spike in it with the dates on it. So it's uh, you know 1849 to 2019, 150th anniversary. So it's a couple years old. But uh, I thought it was funny, so I got it. Um, and then the last thing... I got uh, is some decorations for the walls around here. So I got a standard railroad sign and then uh, I got uh, these other metal signs that are one for each of the major railroads uh, including all their uh, you know historical fallen flags that they merged from. So there's Union Pacific, uh, BNSF, and then uh, there's a CSX one, and then Norfolk Southern, and if you notice Conrail is on both of these because apparently Conrail was split between them. And then I have a CN, and I looked and they don't make one for CP so I couldn't get a equivalent one of these for CP, but these are pretty nice uh, metal signs uh, and I'll be hanging those up around my train room. You'll see them in uh, future update videos probably. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around and set up these cars in a train and just do a little quick run by just so you can see them all, uh, including with uh, the Heath's billboard on the flat car. So, catch you later.
And it looks like I found a way to run that caboose on my tracks after all. Thanks for watching.